three tips for new content creators. Real quick summary, I've been wanting to be a content creator for probably the last almost 10 years. And I've been very on and off with how much I post. But anyway, I've been wanting to be a content creator for a very long time. And I've got a few tips for newer content creators that I learned along the way. So let's get into it. Tip number one, gear does matter. You hear people all the time, oh, gear doesn't matter. Just get out, use your phone. 100% true. Use your phone if you don't have any other camera. Your phone is an excellent camera. And sometimes, you can't even tell the difference between a phone and a regular camera, depending on what you're shooting, of course, and who's shooting it. Gear does matter to an extent. What I mean by that, whether it's your phone or your camera, neither of them are gonna have great audio. So a piece of gear that's helpful is a microphone. Right now I'm using a wireless mic. So I have the Rode Wireless ME. There's a ton of different options for microphones. You don't have to get too super involved with it. If you're just looking to start creating content, just pick one, whether it's a wireless setup or a wired setup or a microphone literally just sitting there on the desk. Find out what works best for you, pick one and move on to the next one. Next piece of gear would be lighting. Lighting makes such a huge difference in video. I'm gonna show an example of what this room looks like when I don't have my studio lights set up. Learning lighting is not easy. There's a ton of different setups you can do for lighting. Every inch makes a difference with how the light looks. I don't love this light setup that I have going on right now, but the studio that I'm in, I only brought two lights. I had a third light, but it was a battery powered one and I didn't charge it, so it died. So I've got two lights that work. This is the best setup I can come up with right now. You don't need to learn every single light setup. I like to go back and forth between like four of them that I can easily work with. And once you know the principles of like one or two of them, you've got a good flexibility for what you can do with the lights. Once you know the rules, it's easier to know, all right, I can work with this or I can break this rule to change it to work this way for me. You don't need a super expensive lights. Lights are another thing that they can range from about 60 bucks all the way upwards of a couple thousand. So there's a huge range of lights. All depends on where you're shooting, how much power you may need, how big you need the light. Do you need it to be something that's wireless that can charge with a battery or that you're okay with it plugging into the wall? What soft boxes are you using? So there's, there's a ton of different options. Again, I don't wanna get super involved in the gear in this video. We can talk about that in another one. Just let me know and I can shoot something for that. But lighting, microphone, those are two essential pieces of gear that will make a huge difference for your content. Of course, lenses, cameras, all that, those make a huge difference as well. But for a beginner, lighting and a microphone, those are my non-negotiables. If any of these helped so far, that thumbs up button is somewhere down there. Piece of advice number two, make the content that you wanna create, not the content that you think is gonna go viral or that you think people are gonna to wanna to see, or that you think is gonna make the most money or you think is gonna put you on the map. Because being consistent, and I know I'm not the best one to talk about being consistent because I'm very inconsistent a lot of times, but being consistent with your content is significantly easier when you enjoy the content that you're creating. For me, that's part of the reason why I have no problem bouncing around back and forth to try and find different types of content so I know this is something I love, this is something I hate, this is something I wanna make more of, this I never wanna shoot again, you know, something like that. How do you know what your favorite food is if you haven't tried it? So find the content that you wanna create. Right now, as a former Apple employee, I love Apple products, I love talking about Apple, so I'd love to make some content in that realm. I love content, I love creating content, talking cameras. Now I'm a professional photographer, professional videographer, so I love talking about that kind of stuff. So I wanna make content around that as well. So find out what it is that you wanna create, what you like, and it's easier to stick with it that way. And then tip number three, quantity creates quality. The more you do, the more videos you pump out, the more photos you take, the more time you spend perfecting your craft, editing, shooting, whatever it is, the better your quality is going to be, the better you're going to get at it. If you just shoot one video a month or one video a week, edit that one video and call it a day, and you have somebody else who's shooting twice a week, three times a week, every day, posting two times, three times, five times a week, which one do you think is gonna get better faster? The more you pump out, the better your quality is going to get. 
you look at some of the top creators out there and scroll all the way down to their beginning videos or filter it by oldest to newest, their first ones are rarely at the same quality level as their newer ones. They all started somewhere and you will too.